Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. So great to have you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a multi textures from a single map. Also, you will learn how to apply that to all maps in no time. I go to File, Script, Load files into a stack. Then press Browse to find the map and press OK to import them. Alright, to find the ratio, I get back to 3D's max and check the floor generator lengths and widths. As you see here, the length is 2 meters and the width is 20 centimeters, so it means the ratio is 10 to 1. Then I will just take the slice tool in Photoshop and select the area that I am about to cut. I right click on it and choose divide slice. Here I have two options to slice horizontally or vertically. Since the patterns of the map is horizontal, I would choose divide horizontally. The map is a perfect square, I mean the overall ratio is 1 to 1. I would type 10 to slice it into 10 pieces. Now you see that the ratio of each piece is 10 to 1. This length is here. And this width is here. Alright, now I will save each map one by one like this. I press Ctrl Alt Shift S to load the saved window. Here we can choose the quality. I always select the maximum. I will stop the widow and repeat the same process for all other maps I have in here. Here you see the result. The benefit of importing through stack is that every piece will be sliced and named properly when you save it. Now I'm gonna make a material and design it to the floor using these multi maps I just made. First, I make a V-Ray material, then make a multi texture map and load all the diffuse maps in it and connect it to the diffuse map on my material. In multi texture map, I can adjust the overall gamma to make the texture darker or brighter. Also, I can randomize the gamma so it would look sharper with more contrast. As for the bumps, I will load the normals and bumps and assign them to a V-Ray normal map and then connect it to the main material. If you want to learn more about making materials, watch the video I put up in here. Alright, now we'll just take a test render to see how does it look so far. Alright. 
So from now on, if you can find a very good texture for the floor, you can simply slice it into pieces and assign it to your object using multi-texture map like the way I just showed you. And if you want to make all different maps like normal maps, reflection maps, bump maps, check out these videos I put up in here. This is the result of using a multi-texture map for my floor. That's it for me guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Please hit that like button if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next video. See you soon, have fun!